So today we're going to be checking out these GAL black buttons. And these were found on older elevators generally installed by smaller companies, though some larger companies did use these as well. We'll be taking a look at how to wire an intermediate and a terminal call station. Let's go ahead and get started. So these buttons are actually mounted to the back of the box that they're housed in. So in order to access those, the plate has to come off. The plate itself doesn't have a whole lot to it. It's just got the holes for the buttons and then the spot for the little light. And then down here, you can see the actual circuitry. All the buttons and the light are all on one board mounted to the back. So we'll have to remove this board in order to take a closer look at the wiring. Removing the board is easy enough. It's just a couple of screws. And once they're removed, the entire piece comes off. And taking a closer look, you can see how the buttons complete the circuit by pushing down the metal piece, completing the contact. And then the light socket up the top is easy enough as well. There's just two terminals for it. So as for wiring this thing, there are a few different options that you could have. In my case, we have one light for two buttons. So it's an in-use light. There's some other cases where you might have an up and a down light. So your wiring is really going to depend on what you have and what you want this thing to do. So in my case, I have two buttons to control one light. And this is done pretty easily. We have obviously the two buttons. So when you push them down, either the button can get pressed in and the light will turn on. And the way this is done is by this circuit on the screen here. And all these circuits that you will be seeing are posted on my website so that you can see those as well. So another option might be you have two lamps. So one for up and one for down. And you wanna make it where the up button lights up the up lamp and the down button lights up the down lamp. And modifying the first circuit a little bit, we have this circuit, which you can see here, will allow you to have the up button turn on the up and the down button turn on the down. So the final instance is a single call button. That means you have only one button and one lamp. You may notice that the layout of this board is a little bit different, the lamp socket is different, and the contacts are a little bit different, but the same functionality still applies. Now this circuit is just like the first circuit I showed you. However, instead of having two buttons, we're just gonna cut that one off, and now you're just left with one button. So it'll do the same thing as the first one, only you only have one button instead of two. And that's really all there is to these old GAL buttons. These are actually pretty simple to wire and they're not too complicated. Again, all these schematics and some information is available on my website. Head down to the link in the description to see that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next project. Oh,